another example of urban solutions to environmental problems, we turn south, very south, to Mexico City, in fact. Now, for decades, a brownish haze has hung over the Mexican capital, and now officials there have invested in some cutting-edge German technology that can turn an ordinary building into a smog-eating machine. Frank Contreras explains how. The worst days to draw breath here in the Mexican capital are in the winter. That's when cold air traps thick smog over the valley, and the toxic cocktail is inhaled by 20 million people. On days like that, especially when traffic is heavy, residents often say they feel a sharp pain in their lungs when drawing a breath. The decorative facade of this Mexico City hospital actually helps clean the air. Its German-made lightweight modular pieces contain titanium dioxide. This project is part of a $20 billion investment in the capital's health infrastructure. Mexico City Environmental Secretary Tanya Mueller says it's worth the money. The cost of not doing so would be much higher in environmental terms. So for us, instead of being an unnecessary expenditure, it is an investment. This smog-transforming technology works when tiny particles of air pollutants mix with sunlight. A chemical reaction occurs, transforming the contaminants into water and carbon dioxide. These chemical reactions are facilitated by the facade's special geometric design, which increases its surface area by 200 percent, putting it in contact with many more molecules of air pollution. An independent study shows that on a daily basis, the building can neutralize the pollutants produced by 1,000 combustible engine vehicles. Mexico's largest construction firm, ICA, was contracted to install the smog-eating structure, which architect Josue Joel Basto says also helps save cooling costs. The facade produces shadows toward the inside of the building, helping to keep it fresh and cool. The way the amount of air conditioning needed to cool it is kept at its lowest possible level, helping save electric energy. The system works hand in hand with other projects designed to improve the quality of air in Mexico's capital. It's among the first urban areas to use this new technology. Similar projects are underway in Paris, Perth, Australia, and Singapore. Frank Contreras, CCTV, Mexico City.